Today, we're opening the worst mystery products from Walmart. What's up, guys? We're back, and you have probably been to Walmart and decided, you know what? I'm gonna buy one of these mystery products. It seems cool. They're showing a lot of awesome advertising on the front. I can probably pull something awesome, and guess what usually happens? It turns out to be a scam. So today I decided to open a few of the worst mystery products Walmart has ever had. This includes a mystery cube with Battle Pack Monster League, a keychain, and uh, supposedly a ghost ogre and snow rabbit. I'm going to guess that's not in there. We're also going to open one of the most recent mystery cubes, which I think is slightly better, but it's also still not great. So we're going to be opening that. And finally, we're opening a product I've never opened. This is a Pokemon mystery box that I've heard is really, really terrible. So we're going to be opening these three, and we're going to figure out which is the worst of the mystery items. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this near mint Bazoo the Soul Eater first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you think is the worst. Worse. Or if I didn't show it in this video, tell me a worse mystery item from Walmart. Okay, let's start off with the more known quantity, which is the newest mystery power cube. One legacy pack, two boosters, which is cool. I mean, that's all nice stuff. Five rare cards, 35 commons. So that's when you get into the kind of the garbage. It's just a bunch of random stuff. All right. Let's open this cube up. Let's see if any of these cards will matter. Last time, I think we actually got a token collector common, which was like the only decent card. The rest of it was pretty bad. And that's just a common card that they didn't know was good. This is very tight wrapping. Okay, we got it off. That was not easy. Okay, what will we get inside this first mystery cube? So we're going to start off with this. We have uh, Endymion, the Magistus of Mastery. Okay, that's our rare. Cyber Angel Benton. That was, would be good if it was not a rare. Cyberus Gadget. Okay, we got the Rango. So now we're back into the regular commons, the Fencing Fire Ferret, the Gazelle. So most of these are not going to be worth anything. So occasionally you'll get lucky and hit something that's actually something decent. I mean, Nerval, they're not bad cards. They're just not valuable. Some of them are not bad, I should say. A lot of them are. Ojama Pink, that's a funny one. Okay, we've got uh, Arm Dragon stuff. So a lot of this just looks like, uh, is this Leof or BLVO? Yeah, uh, Blazing Vortex. Yeah, I got it confused. Yeah, not great bulk there. Then we got a, actually, this is actually a pretty cool pack. 2017 Megaton. So for the giveaway, Invoke Magellanica. I love Invoked. So for the comment, let me know below what order you think these mystery products go in. So best to worst. Oh, and we got a Pevo Pendulum Evolution. Yeah, it's weird to pronounce that, but Pendulum Evolution. Yeah, one of the worst sets probably ever. So that's that fits this product perfectly. Just a card that we don't really want. Purple Poison Magician. We got Astrograph Sorcerer. That's I mean, isn't that like bad? No, it brought back to one, right? Summoner's Art, Pendulum Reborn, and Rare Metaphors Bismugir. Okay, not not too crazy. Then we have two packs. One Pharaoh Servant. I think we're gonna go with this guy because it could potentially have a Genzo inside. Watch us like call it the worst packs ever, and then we pull like Genzo out of one of them. That would be kind of funny, actually. It's possible. I mean, technically, you could do that. Drill Bug. We got a Burning Land. That's like burning our money on these products. Overdrive, Light of Intervention, Cold Wave, The Eye of Truth, All Seeing White Tiger, Skull Invitation and a time seal okay not great but now we have a 2017 mega 10 pack which i think this set was i don't think it was that good actually i think 2018 was the good one uh this did have desires as a promo in the in the tin which would be nice if that was in the actual pack rocket hand gear gear anchor dice clops the crystallic potential angel trumpeter we got the speedroid gum prize the zodiac sign the uh, ninjutsu I, that's zodiac not zodiac okay full metaphor fusion we got the zodiac there's zodiac broad bull okay we've got electro pendulum the draco lord and the tuning gum ew then we have bug matrix the uh the giraffe all right ignites and paleozoics very fun okay so first cube not very good okay next let's check out what's in the pokemon uh, I know, it, it, it's pretty despicable that it's on the channel, but I saw this and I had to buy it. You guys know how I am with a mystery bag. Look at this! It bent the blister packs to fit it in there. What in the world? This is supposed to be like this. What a nightmare of a product. Oh my gosh. I mean, they bent the Yu-Gi-Oh packs, but like bending a blister is like sacrilegious. That's just messed up. Okay, let's open all these real quick. Okay, so in here we have the trainer challenge. All right, there's a nice code card for you guys. Let's see if we can pull anything good. I don't really know. I think Darkness of Blaze does have a Charizard, but that's like every set these days. So that's all I know about it. Let's see what we can do. So uh, we have this, which will be that. There you go. Let's see if we can pull something cool. I don't know, Mary. But I, I'm an old school, so I know the Paris, the Mary, that kind of stuff. Oh, no. Skarmory. Torchic. Cool. Delcaddy. Wait, is that is that our rare? Is that our... We have a non-hollow rare... 
Dang it. Okay, next up, next up. We're gonna try again. We're gonna see what we can do. Can we pull something good? I don't know. So far, it's a bad start, though. Bad start. I'm glad that... Okay, I'm kind of glad we don't have code cards. If we did, though, it would be nice for Master Duel, but also, like, it's just kind of annoying to have to deal with that every single pack. Clink. Oh, the Ruxin Special, even on Pokemon, and the regular common rare. Okay. Even though it's technically rare, it's a non holo rare, which doesn't exist in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is kind of weird. I don't really like non holo rares. Oh, no, we ruined it. Green code, green code card. I was trying to avoid that. Okay, that means that we didn't get anything good, so let's go through this. Drone Rotom. Wow, that was that was quite an exciting mystery box right there. Those were incredible. That is certainly in the running for the worst product. So we're on to this one. I don't know. This one might be really bad, though. This one has, like, Battle Pack Monster League, which is one of the worst sets, I think, ever. So I don't know if we can top that one, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, let's go. Let's see uh, if, if it can get worse than that, that Pokemon box. So inside, we're supposedly going to get a Ghost Ogre, Psalm Strike, and Pot of Design. Not really, but this is a very old Mystery Cube. It's, like, a couple years old. Oh, but this is sick, though. I mean, this is pretty cool. The Exodia, the Forbidden One. That is actually insane. Like, you could put this on your keys. I'm tempted. I'm not gonna lie. I'm tempted. I had one of these that was like Winged Dragon of Raw. I think I actually gave it to Rev, I think. <laughs> okay, Exodia. Very cool. Our cards. What shall we get in here? I can't get these cards up. Okay, uh, our cards. Here we go. Uh, were we even guaranteed rares on this thing? I don't even know. We got a Kasha synchro soldier this is getting this is a lot of cards this is gonna get tiring shadow spell there's a rare bes court there was a transmigration wait here they are star blast these are all from crimson crisis which we just opened like a couple days ago so that's weird elemental hero ice edge actually has value wait this is like a three dollar card i think okay we hit something overpowering eye and it's an actual foil which is a miracle so that might be our five i think they still do the same thing rise of the snake deity dark scorpion chick the yellow is there anything good the tricky chamberlain of the six samurai okay i'm trying to find anything that's worth a couple bucks maybe as a common there's a lot of potential in commons oh dark scorpion clip the trap cliff the trap remover is actually kind of hard to find for goat format so i will pull that aside that's cool zombina might have Maybe like 50 cents a dollar. I don't know. Somewhere in that range is another zombie. No, okay. Pulse mines. Air cracking. Dangerous. Very nice. Okay. Jack Wyvern. We got the familiar possessed Lena. Oh, there's a Cobalt Sparrow. All right. And uh, Turquoise Warbler. All right. So far, we have some absolutely amazing things. We have five. <laughs> Battle Pack Monster League got to be one of the worst sets ever. And every time you get them out of these mystery products, they're stuck together. They're literally stuck with like some sort of glue. So, I don't even know what you can pull. Is there anything in here? Back in the day, the highest, most expensive card was like $4 or something. And it's like really hard to get because like every card in here can be the specific rarity. This rarity, like the Shatter Foil. So, you just have to get lucky and hit the right one. These are all bent too. No, premature burial and Dweller of the Depths. Okay, so that's uh, that's how this is going to go. I'm going to take these off the mat because they're all sticky. I don't want them to get stick to my mat. Okay, Battle Pack Monster League. It's got the O-Lantern on it. Okay, we have an Inspiration. I have not seen this one since Duel Links, for sure. Inspiration. Rhino Taurus. I have seen this guy when we used it in Auction Series. R.I.P. We have Evil Swarm Kedos. We got the Swords of Revealing Light and the Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Still three packs to go. This one has the Psychic guy. I can't remember his name. He's like 1900. Yeah, he's Psychic. He's 1900 and zero defense. I remember him specifically from Auction Series. Another RIP there. We got Assessus of Dogla. Goblin Elite Attack Force with the weird rarity. Quakimir Sandman is actually not terrible. And the Banner of Courage. Oh, wait. We forgot this. Oh, the Submarine Roid. I love this guy. Okay, final two packs. Guys, I honestly, like, these have all sucked. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. These are really terrible. But, uh, yeah, just ha the fact having to open Battle Pack, you know, we're going to do this and get the, the Shatter Foil at the end. Battle Pack is absolutely one of the worst sets ever. Vylon Ohm, this Battle Pack specifically, and Gorgonic Golem. Okay, all right. And the final pack of this very strange yet fun-ish opening. Let's not go too crazy. Forbidden Lance is a pretty good card. Okay. Okay, so there's a rare there, so let's put the rare right there. We have a Master Craftsman of Gamel, the Gale Lazard. Okay, all right. Forbidden Lance, not a bad card. 
Break of the Magical Warrior, also not a bad card. And we've got a Mizuki. That's actually a decent card for zombies as well. So that final pack was definitely the best one of those five. If you guys know of any other awful mystery products that you think that I should open or you think are worse than these, let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Anana Tai Show, JT Show, and Anima the Hallow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.